from the California Dreaming series. Rick Blair don't know. The only time I miss you is when I listen to that old beat up cassette you made me. A Spanish guitar remembering a once beautiful fortress. That piece was our own castle we built around our broken hearts as I whispered to you, my little girl fears. And you? Out of earshot from your wife, my mother, who strode ahead with your older daughter, my big sister, and you? You whispered back reassurances. Do not be afraid. Death is just a much needed rest after hard, hard work and a long, long life. I'm looking forward to it. I listen to friends' cries echo and clang against walls once lived in with parents they miss so much. It's a language I don't understand. I don't cry, except between the hours of 12 and 5, where, in a once beautiful fortress, I rise up words from your buried life and our broken hearts. When the clock finally chimes, I escape to efforts that defy my own failings and to a man who loves me. Not just between the cracks of music, but always. Yeah. Letter to an old poet, 2.0. Dear Phil, as if the world is just throwing open its arms and calling for our stories to take center stage. No, no, it's not like that at all. We write. We write and then we rage at the insanity that keeps insisting this is still our city as it obliterates it out from under our own feet. We write, we write and then we ignore all else. We grab the day like a crucible. We beg it, demand it to do all the things it's supposed to do. Keep us safe as we put down a word that has been told repeatedly it cannot afford the rent it pays. We write and then we cry as homes and bars and corners and safe spaces welcoming our efforts evaporate before our very eyes. We write and then we still get up in front of friends, in front of enemies, in front of anyone brave enough or stupid enough to face off with old poets whose pens and pencils don't play fair. We write and when we think we can't, because home and bars and corners and safe spaces welcoming our efforts have disappeared into the mist, we write anyway, and then we weep as we leave yet another promised land. We weep, and then we go right. Our world may feel like an exhale of a brief air, but our poems are a city that defy the wrecking ball. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>